much. I can't believe you're still here. It's 11.15. It's time to go home. Let, let me say thank you, and, and let me begin by saying uh, a, a deep debt of gratitude to, to the two people up on stage with me who have put in the most time, effort, yeah. and love in this campaign. Yeah. You can imagine my wife, Aleli, and myself. I just got off the phone with the AP and, and uh, with Joe Monahan and the bloggers out there and, and they said, well, what do you think did it, Brian? You had a, a strong field of five candidates uh, that were all tremendous individuals and I said, I can absolutely agree with that. We did have a strong field of candidates and partly it's because we have a great Democratic Party led by Javier Gonzalez as our chair. <laughs> because we have some great legislators like Cheryl William Stapleton, our representative, like Senator Tim Keller, and so many great judges in the room like Linda Vanzi, and so many great Democrats who are running in this election cycle. Thanks for being great Democrats, but let me tell you why, let me tell you why we won. We won because when I made a phone call to Ambassador Romero's house, and I said, I have a great idea, I'm going to run for Lieutenant Governor, he said, well, that's a nice idea. I said, but that's not the better idea. The better idea is that I'd like you to be an honorary co-chair of the campaign. And he said, well, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> and then he proceeded to tell me, well, let me think about it. And I said, well, what are you going to say to an ambassador that wants to think about it? You say, okay, think about it. And I hung up the phone. I was a little disappointed, but before I could be too disappointed, I looked down and my phone was ringing again. I looked down and it said, Ambassador Ed Romero. And I said, well, I wonder if I pocket dialed him and he dialed it again. I opened it up and I said, Hola, Mahar. He said, Mahar. Brian? Yes, this is Brian. He said, Brian, this is Tana. I want you to know something. Ed wouldn't give me the phone, but I'm not waiting. I'm with you 100%. We're going to make you the next lieutenant governor of the state of New Mexico. And I thank you both for standing with me for the last nine months as we've delivered this nomination. Thank you so much. It's an honor and privilege to have you co-chairing this campaign with Adana Harris and Lent Maui, our other two honorary co-chairs of this campaign. Um, but look, at the end of the day, it's not about me. It's not about, it's not about my campaign team. Although I gotta tell you, wouldn't you agree, we have the best campaign yeah. team in the state of New Mexico. Yeah. 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 So many great folks here. What, what really got us across the finish line was not the fact, well, people thought I was the hardest working candidate out there, but you know why? Is because we had the hardest working volunteers in the entire state. Yeah. I didn't do this alone. I did it with your help. I want to say thank you to Labor for standing strong. Today was a day not just for Brian Colon, it was a day for organized labor in New Mexico. Starting with the firefighters, going with the Federation of Teachers, IBEW, the operating engineers, all the great unions, the steel workers that came on board. Thank you, Jim. So, I got to tell you, we will continue to stand for the values of the Democratic Party. We will continue to work for education in New Mexico. We'll continue for, to work for hardworking teachers, not just because my wife is one, but because they deserve it, because our children deserve it. They are going to get a better education in New Mexico. We will continue to focus on putting resources in the classroom so teachers like Aleli can get the job done. We're going to continue investing in economic development, not just with the out-of-state businesses that we try to get to come to New Mexico, but we will invest in New Mexico's own. New Mexico's small businesses like the Roma Bakery and Cafe, like the small businesses that are on each and every block of our 33 counties of rural and urban New Mexico. Those are the businesses we're going to invest in. Because you know what? When they succeed, they don't leave. They stay here and they grow their business for New Mexico. Yeah. That's what we're going to invest in for the Danish Cologne ticket. And I'm going to wrap this up by saying just a couple things about the race ahead. You know, I knew Susana Martinez when she was a Democrat. Yeah! Cruces. In fact, it was where I got the gems that were behind me. I married my wonderful bride. Our son was born in Las Cruces. The two best things that ever happened to me, frankly. But when we were down there, Susana was glad to be a Democrat. She was glad to 
fight for New Mexico families. And let me tell you, she left the Democratic Party because she decided those values were not her own. And let me tell you something. Diane Dennis has spent a lifetime fighting for those Democratic values. The same values, the same Democratic values that put a roof over my head as a child in Valencia County. The same Democratic values that put food on my table. The same Democratic values that allowed me to break the cycle of poverty and be the first in my family to go to college. That's what Diane Dennis believes in. It's what Brian Cologne stands for. And that's what's going to win in November 2010. There are so many people like the Munzers that stood with me early in this election, long before it was the cool thing to do. And I just want to say thank you. And I'm still not sure if it's cool, but I'm glad you're standing with me. <laughs> Again, I want to say thank you and congratulations to all our great Democratic candidates that enjoyed victory this evening. We have a wonderful ticket from the top with Diane Dennish and Congressman Heinrich here from the 1st Congressional District. Yeah. The Congressman Teague in the South and to Congressman Henry in the North. We're going to enjoy victory in November 2010, just like you delivered in November 2008. Thank you, New Mexico. Thank you, great Democrats. And thank you to Team Below and Diane Sano all the great Democrats that stood with our campaign. Thank you and good night. tomorrow morning at 10 and uh, right now I'm going to call up uh, Victor Ragosa, Vice Chair of uh, Bernalillo County to introduce uh, one of our uh, amazingly hard-working uh, county officials so uh, Victor please take it away. Thank you, I'll keep this brief. 